on race day, you're more focused about like basically you have your lines set. You you, you just want don't think too much. You want to feel and feel the flow and feel like want to go fast. The wind tunnel actually gives you important information. We have video an analysis after each training run and after each race, so we can look at like if I'm applying those things that we saw in the wind tunnel. I think it'll be a lot easier to watch my training runs and watch specific parts of the course and look at my position and say, hey, in the wind tunnel, you know, this was faster. I think it really blows up those small issues in your position. And so every little twitch in your tuck is accentuated. From gloves to, to goggles to helmets, every little thing counts and matters. And for us to be able to be here and, and test that out in the wind tunnel, is, is just a leg up. Testing out positions and if you find one that work and being able to translate them onto snow. I'll be able to m memorize the positions that are faster and carry that with me my whole career. Now that my coaches have this data, it's gonna be really helpful for when we're on the hill actually training and racing because they'll be able to look at my tuck positions or other positions throughout the course and tell me exactly how I should change it to get to the maximum aerodynamics. You know, we're trying to figure out how to get tenths of a second, but with this kind of facility and this access, you can shave off seconds. It's always going to be in the back of my mind, trying to make those adjustments, trying to be faster, just trying to be closer to, you know, the fastest time I can make. You know, every little bit counts, whether it's how fast your skis are, how fast your suit is. It all adds up to getting medals.